Welcome guys, Fabrizio Romano here with a new YouTube video today as always and today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Just think about the fun things you do online, diving in your football club match you love to watch, buying your football shirts, enjoy the transfer news with your morning coffee, but you never know who is behind your internet connection, your internet service provider, a cyber criminal trying to steal your credit card details while you buy your football shirt, or a hacker trying to steal your sensitive data. But don't worry, NordVPN online security starts with one click. Get your exclusive deal by going to nordvpn.com slash here we go to get a huge discount plus one month for free. There is no risk with NordVPN's 30-day money back guarantee. The link is in the description below. That's NordVPN slash here we go. And so guys, the Frankie story uh, begins this summer with uh, Eric Ten Hag. He is the man who really wanted Frankie de Jong, he was planning for this transfer. Frankie de Jong, is not a secret, was top priority for Man United for the world transfer market uh, as new midfielder. So they really wanted Frankie. And the reality, to enter into the details, is that on the first week of July, after spending the whole month of June in negotiations, first week of July, Manchester United and Barcelona reached an agreement for Frankie de Jong. That agreement is 100% confirmed, guys. The agreement was there, was an agreement between Manchester United board. Remember, they uh, were in Barcelona to negotiate directly with Barca board and with Barca, with the president Juan Laporta, with Alemani, Jordi Cruyff, all together, ready to agree on 75 million euros plus 10 million euros in a dons. Everything was ready. Barcelona had Frankie de Jong almost sold to Manchester United. But it was never a done deal, was never a here we go, because of Frankie de Jong. Uh, many of you ask me, why May United insisted on this deal for Frankie while the player didn't want to come? This is true or not? Guys, the truth, from what I'm told, is that Frankie never wanted to leave Barcelona this summer, not even for one second. He was not even tempted, because it's true on one side that Barca were trying to find a solution for Frankie, and he knew about it. Frankie's a smart guy. He knows that Barcelona tried to find a solution to bring in Bernardo Silva and sell Frankie de Jong. This was the potential move for Barca. But what happened? That Frankie First of all, he's Dutch, and we know the Dutch connection with Barcelona. He wants to be one of the Dutch players who won with Barcelona. Frankie decided to join Barcelona in a difficult moment for the club, and now the moment is completely different. They have fantastic player, fantastic squad, and so this is why for Frankie the challenge is to win with Barca now that the team is really strong and they can do something important. There is personal life. Frankie is super happy in Barcelona as a city, with his family, with his girlfriend. He's really, really happy there. So this is why, at the moment, he's never been planning to change. He wanted to stay, and he's always been very clear with his agents, with the board, with the clubs. Frankie always told them, I want to stay. The only way for May United to prepare the potential Frankie de Jong deal was to agree with Barcelona, as they did in the first week of July, and then wait and hope that Frankie changed his mind. They were hoping for Frankie to change his mind. This is the only potential strategy. Let me explain that sometimes the transfer market is about, okay, we sign top players and we do it as Barcelona, reached an agreement with Robert Lewandowski, Lewandowski was going to, to break his relationship with Bayern, and at the end, they signed Lewandowski. But sometimes, to sign top players, you also need to be lucky and patient, to wait and wait and wait. And this was the only way for May United to try to bring in Frankie de Jong wait and hope that maybe end of August, uh, beginning of August, final days of the window, Frankie was going to change his mind. This was the only way, because they knew that for Frankie, a part of many stories on the salary, but guys, Frankie never accepted to reduce his salary. As of now, maybe he will change his mind in a few days, but as of now, he never accepted to reduce or cut his salary. He always wanted to stay at Barcelona with the current contract that is a regular contract. That's it for Frankie. So Man United were hoping for him to change his mind till the final days of the window, but it never happened. And this is why they decided to invest big money on Casemiro and Anthony, because it made no sense to wait and wait and wait for Frankie, who at the end never wanted to change his mind. But the agreement between clubs was there, never agreed personal terms between Frankie and Man United. Stories on Frankie with contract trading with Man United were absolutely not true. He never agreed personal terms. 
Frankie always wanted to stay at Barca, and this doesn't mean to reject Man United, because he rejected all the possibilities, not just Man United. He wanted to stay at Barcelona. It's different. It's completely, completely different. Why I say all the possibilities? Because, guys, apart of many rumors on Bayern, Nagelsmann is in love with Frankie de Jong, but they never negotiated for de Jong this summer. Apart of the rumors on Man City in June, that was never a serious possibility. Pep Guardiola appreciates Frankie, of course, but they had different kind of strategy for this summer, in particular for the salaries because the real point with Frankie de Jong is the salary. It's not just about um, the price to pay to Barcelona, 85 million euros, 90, 75. It's not about that. It's about the salary. It's a huge, huge salary. So, for example, Man City decided to invest on big salary this summer on Erling Haaland, and this is why they were not negotiating for Frankie de Jong. But they love the player. Same for Bayer, but never a concrete negotiation. For Man United, they were ready to pay, but also an important salary, but no agreement with the player, and also Chelsea. Because, guys, Chelsea were really quiet in June on Frankie de Jong, they asked about the player, but nothing else. End of July, beginning of August, Chelsea have entered the race for Frankie de Jong in a really strong way. Because Chelsea were at the same level of Man United. I always see only Man United in the rumors for Frankie, but Chelsea were absolutely in the race. They wanted Frankie de Jong. Um, they had the possibility to complete two deals with the same agent of Frankie de Jong. The agent of Frankie de Jong is the same of Dennis Zakaria. The agent of Frankie de Jong is the same who worked on the deal for Piero Aubameyang to Chelsea. So the relationship was great. This is a key factor. So they tried to push. And Chelsea, in August, were prepared to pay big money to Barcelona, so to match the Man United proposal and so to reach an agreement with Juan Laporta, no problem, but they were also prepared to pay a really important salary and contract to Frankie de Jong. So Chelsea tried for Frankie, Man United tried for Frankie, but both clubs, not just one, both clubs with different moments, because Man United agreed first week of July, Barcelona and Chelsea entered into it in August, so it was different kind of timing, but both clubs tried and Frankie told them, I want to stay in Barcelona. Both clubs were hoping for Frankie to change his mind till the end. It didn't happen. Let's see how it will be this season, because for Barca uh, it's a really important season, and for Frank it's a really important season. He knows that Xavi always trusted him, and it was the club needing for him to, to leave the club because of the salary, but Xavi's always been happy with Frankie. Now it's time for Frankie to see what happens with Barca this season, and then I'm sure that the situation will be clarified soon. If it's not in the next month, it will be next summer, but they need to clarify as soon as possible on his contract or on his future. But this summer, this is what happened, guys. There was never a presentation at Old Trafford ready, as there was some report, report in uh, June. Many of you sent me, it's true, that they had Old Trafford ready for Frankie. No, because Frankie never agreed personal terms with Man United. This is what I am told on Frankie's side, and also it's pretty clear that he really wanted to stay at Barcelona. And so guys, let me know your opinion on this Frankie de Jong saga I ended up with him staying at Barcelona. I want your opinion. You think it's a good decision for him to stay at Barca or was maybe better to go to Man United or maybe to Chelsea? I want your opinion, guys. Here, as always, like this video, turn on the notification bell and see you soon with Fabrizio Romano.